Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today our Sesame Street toys are at the pool. It's our Playmobil pool. And it already has some water in it. There's a big orange slide. Oh, and the kiddie pool, it's empty. It's not open today. Now all of our toys want to go in the pool, but Oscar, you can't go in with your trash can. It will get rusty. And Slimy the Worm can't go in either because he doesn't have hands or legs to swim. So Oscar won't be going in the pool today. What about Cookie Monster? Cookie Monster can't stop eating cookies. Sorry, Cookie Monster, there is no food allowed in the pool. You'll have to stay outside of the pool and eat your cookies. Nom, 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 nom. And then we have Bert and Ernie. Oh, oops. Ernie brought his rubber ducky, but they didn't bring their bathing suits. And you can't wear your clothes in the pool, Bert and Ernie. I guess they're just going to have to stand at the side and watch their friends go in. Now, what about Big Bird? Big Bird has feathers and some birds go in water like ducks or geese. But what about Big Bird's size? I think he's too big for the pool. The water only goes up to his knees and he's too tall for the shower. Sorry, Big Bird, you are too big to use this pool. And that leaves us with Elmo. Elmo, can you fit inside the shower? Oh, excuse us, Oscar. He's just the right size. Elmo is the only Sesame Street character that can go in the pool today. Elmo's going to climb into the pool instead of jumping because it's too shallow to jump. There's the red ladder to go down into the water. He likes to dive under the water and hold his breath and he also likes to float on his back and look at the sky. Oh, the slide is open. Let's go up, Elmo. Elmo goes up the ladder very carefully so he doesn't fall. He uses both hands. When he gets to the top, whoa, he can't believe how high up he is. He says hi to all of his friends below. Hi, guys. Hi, Elmo. We can see you. Let's go down. Poor Elmo, he wishes his friends could join him in the pool today. He still had fun going down the slide. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. It's a beautiful spring day and we are outdoors on the beach. Oh, and look whose ship just pulled up onto shore. It's Dougie and the squirrels. And let's hook up the ship with the big golden anchor so it doesn't float away. Oh dear, one of our toys just went flying off the end of the ship into the water. Never, ever hang or climb a railing, Tiny Fans, on a deck, on a boat. It's just not safe. Nori and Tag are riding on the back of the boat, also known as the stern. In the front of the boat, we have Dougie, Rolly, Betty, and Happy. The front of the boat is called the bow. Now, before they hop off the ship, let's close the sails so that if the wind picks up, the ship won't blow into the water. As you can see, Dougie is wearing his pirate costume today. It's red and black striped, and he even has a pirate hat on. 
Today, the squirrels are looking for treasure. And not just any treasure. Oh, and we have a visitor. It's Poppy. We're looking for maybe a neat stone or stick. The first squirrel to discover something was Happy. Ooh, it looks like a plastic wrapper. A plastic wrapper for a caramel, perhaps? This definitely doesn't belong on the beach, and we'll throw it in the trash. What have you found, Tag? Looks like Tag has found a piece of charcoal. Charcoal is black carbon that is produced when we heat up wood. What have you found, Betty? Oh, she spotted something in the water. Look at that leaf. Oh, and that doesn't belong in the water. It's the shape of a square. And it's a pink tile? How did this get in the lake? Well, I'm going to take it home and we can use it for our toys. And Rolly has found the shell of a nut. Do you know what nut this belongs to? It's a pistachio shell, and our family loves to snack on pistachios. They're full of nutrients. And what did Nori find? It's a branch, and this looks like hair. But it's not really hair, it's called old man's beard, and it grows on trees. How did it end up on the beach? Maybe from a windstorm? Sometimes we get strong winds that blow branches off trees. They fall into the water and end up on shore. It's time to lower the sails and head back out to sea. What an adventure. We're taking our trash with us and putting it in the garbage where it belongs. This time, Betty and Happy are riding in the front with Dougie. Nori is going to ride in the middle where she's safe. And Rolly and Tag are in the back. Let's unhook the anchor. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today the Muppet Babies are in their playroom. They had so much fun last time at the Imagination Park playset that they're going to use their imaginations and visit again. They line up in partners, two by two. Scooter and Gonzo lead the way in the front of the line. Hey look! Who's on the front of the train? It's Animal! And the Muppet Babies have turned their popcorn maker and salt shaker into a choo-choo train with a shoe and a cupcake in the back. Who do you think should drive the train? Let's put Fozzie in the shoe since he loves yellow. And in the cupcake, who loves pink? Piggy, of course. And it only makes sense that Animal drives the engine. Once we pop Animal inside, the train will begin. So we will just put him lightly on top of the button for now. Gonzo sees the teacup ride and wants to hop on but he realizes he can't cross the train tracks without a safety officer. Animal hops off the train and lets Gonzo know the train is stopped and the engine is off. It's safe to cross the tracks. Gonzo hops in the blue teacup. And who will join Gonzo on the teacup ride? Kermit! He hops in the yellow teacup attached to the saucer. The train starts the teacup ride. Uh-oh, it's jammed. 
Let's see what's going on. We'll have to take Animal out of the train. The white gears are supposed to turn when the wheels trains hit it. Ooh, there is some damage to the wheels. That's why it's not working. Hmm. Well, we'll give it another try and see what happens. The whirling around the socks ride works perfectly for Gonzo. Whee! Let's push the button and the train can keep going. Where will it go next? To the merry-go-round where Kermit and Skeeter go round and round. We never know which way the train will go, and it activates all of the rides. It still needs to visit the bath time boat ride. Oh, Kitty found the toy box that was sitting on our set. She's not sure what to think of the train noise. I think the train is headed towards the bathtub ride. Ralph and Scooter go around and around. Let's keep the train moving. We'll push the red button to release it. Now where will it go? Oh, it's going to go to the teacups. But nobody's riding the teacups. Let's keep going. At least it's working this time. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. I recently found this amazing treasure called My Miniature Library. And it has 30 tiny books that you can make and create a little library set. And look who we have, Daniel Tiger, oops, and his sister, Baby Margaret. Daniel, how about we go and see the title of this book that fell on the floor? This is the most special book of all. It's called My Tiny Treasures. And it's empty right now with blank pages. However, I'm slowly going to fill it with treasures from our channel. Oops. Now we're going to pick a book to read to Daniel and his little sister. Some of these books are ones you will know. There's The Frog Prince, Sleeping Beauty, and this one is called Moths and Butterflies. And let you know how much I love butterflies. So I think we will pick this one to read today. Moths and Butterflies Blue Morpho Butterfly A large South American butterfly with shimmering blue wings. Monarch Butterfly This butterfly flies up to 5,000 miles to find a warm place to spend the winter forgot to get seats for Daniel, Tiger, and Margaret. There, that should be more comfortable. Now let's get back to our story. Let's see, what page was I on? Oh, this is the right page. The Atlas Moth, one of the largest moths in the world with a wingspan of over 10 inches. Wow. Well, I'm going to get out my green ruler to show you what 10 inches looks like. So that moth's wings would start at the zero and go all the way to that 10. Now that is one big moth. Glass wing butterfly. This butterfly has very delicate transparent wings, hence its name. 
transparent means the wings are see-through. Incredible. Hummingbird moth. This large moth is so-called because it looks very similar to a hummingbird. Oh, I love hummingbirds. And let me show you something I have. I think hummingbirds are actually very beautiful. And I have this hummingbird beaded decoration. And here's a fun fact. Did you know that hummingbirds flap their wings 70 times per second? This makes them very fast birds. The dead leaf butterfly. When this butterfly's wings are closed, it resembles a leaf. Rosy maple moth. This tiny, brightly colored moth comes out at night to feed on maple trees. What is your favorite butterfly? Well, I love them all, so I can't pick a favorite. We'll put the book back on the shelf and I'm going to add a picture to my tiny treasures book. So these are some very popular characters we use in our videos. And these are the Paw Patrol Mini Boos. So I'm going to glue these in here. Not too long ago, we did a video unboxing Paw Patrol Mini Boos. And we got three of one pup. Do you remember which pup it was? Well, it's time to get crafting. And you can always make a scrapbook of your favorite things in a book at home. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We have a brand new toy called Eggle Piggle's Light Show Bath Time Boat and it makes an amazing underwater light show. Here is the glowing multicolored light. Looks like a globe. And it also has stacking and pouring cups and shape sorting. It's time to open our new In the Night Garden toy. Oh look, there's Ickle Piggle. This is his body, the top half, and his head, a star, a green flower, and the boat. There is a place for the green flower and the orange star. Now in order for our light to turn on, we need to put batteries in our boat. So we lift the yellow top off, and remember tiny fans, leave the batteries up to the adults. Kids should not be touching batteries. Oh, and there's Kitty. She, she just knocked over Iggle Piggle. Silly Kitty. There, we'll put your head back on. So now that we have our batteries in, we can push this yellow button and the lights should turn on. Let's give it a try. Ooh, look at the lights are glowing on Kitty. There's all different colors, red, blue, purple, green. I think we better take our boat to the bathtub and see the light show. Push the yellow button, put Eagle Piggle on top, and now we can sail away, Eagle Piggle. Oh, look at the lights. They shine on the bottom of the bathtub. It looks like a flower. Oh, this would be a very neat show to see at nighttime when all of the lights are out. And now it's nighttime. Oh, wow, look at the lights. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.